What's your ADAT input doing? Nothing? Make the most of it. Introducing the new Focusrite OctoPre Mark II and OctoPre Mark II Dynamic. Two great ways to make the most of your ADAT input. Focusrite, the Mic Pre company. It's NAM 2010. We're here with Scott and John from F Expansion, and they've got a nice petite and bijou version of BFD to show us. I think it's called Nano? BFD Nano. A new streamlined version of BFD that packs all the power, resolution, and quality that you've come to know from the BFD range into a streamlined platform that will with a faster ergonomic flow of, of, of work. And uh, we're very proud to show it off at this NAM. John, would you like to play some sounds? One of the advantages of BFD Nano, it's completely compatible with the BFD2 range. So we're actually playing one of our expansion packs, the Yamaha Oak kit, which will work in BFD Nano just fine. And if you ever decide to upgrade to the full BFD2, you can still have used the same expansion pack without any problems. So how many uh, different drums do we get with Nano and what kind of computer do you need to run it? BFD Nano will run on uh, a Windows or Macintosh machine. Um, we would recommend a, a dual processor core 2 type machine, but it should work on, uh, on a Pentium 4. Um, anything from 2 to 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, if, uh, Nano also will have 4 gigabytes of uh, sound data, so you don't need as much uh, room on your hard drive as you do for BFD2. Okay, so how much simpler is this to operate than BFD2? Because I guess well, you're trying to get the drummer interested who's not, not really comfortable with very complicated computer packages. Yes, so with Nano what we've tried to do is get everything back onto the screen, kind of like how we had it in BFD1. So it's, it's something of a, of a comeback in time that way, although we still have all the, the effects of BFD2. Um, Nano is much more preset driven, so we've spent a lot more time getting full engineering rigs done and dusted for you in a variety of genres. Uh, so what we've done now is we've got the drum kit building page and the mixer back on the same page so that everything's in front of you in the one place. So here we are on the main kit building screen where you have uh, the, the mixer underneath. Uh, we have four, uh, sorry, 12 channels 12 kit pieces in BFD2 nan uh, BFD Nano, two ambients and two auxiliary sends. To load a kit piece, you just click on the picture, up comes the chooser, and it loads there. Now, for each uh, mixer channel, we have a dedicated channel inspector where you have the drum engineering part where you can affect the damping, the tuning, the mix, uh, mix between in and out mics, um, sends to aux one and two, and the overhead and room uh, ambient levels. You then have three effect slots. We have a hardwired EQ, which is always present on all channels, and two freely assignable channels. Um, all your favorites from BFD2, such as our uh, various channel and bus compressors are in there. We also have reverbs, uh, overloud reverbs plate plug in in there to give you an artificial reverb. We also have a groove page where the, oops, let me just turn that off. It ships with about 4,000 grooves by Groove Monkey. You can build a, a groove track by just drag and dropping grooves from the groove uh, browser onto the drum timeline. And if you want to then just, if you want to export that out to a WAV file, you just press the export button and that BFD will spit out a nice drum loop ready for you to go. Uh, for mapping different MIDI systems, we have the full BFT2 key mapping system in a slightly rearranged form in there. So you've got all your favourites. Uh, you know, well, all your favourites if we had the presets in there. But um, yes, so support any e drumming system out there. And um, yeah, and that's what e Nano is all about. It's something you're supposed to explain in about 30 seconds. There we are. Okay, so what elements do we have access to if you haven't bought any expander packs? I mean, what do you get with the program as there's, standard? There are about 24 different kits, uh, much more preset driven, much more effects driven. So there are three underlying kits that we then heavily uh, process in, in software, dynamically, or leave natural. 
the, the, the three actual sound sets that are then pushed out into about 30 or 40 different kits. Okay. And I believe the price is quite a long way below BFD. Yes, yes, this is the attractive bit. Uh, the recommended retail price will be only $150. And there will be an upgrade path uh, to the BFD2 full for about uh, $200 in, in, in later in, in 2010. It sounds good. So how far are you from shipping? We'd say March, late, late March. Okay. Yes. That sounds good. Thanks, so, Scott. Well, yeah. let's hear a few, um, a few examples, John. Well, that sounds pretty impressive to me, so watch out for this around Easter time. <laughs> 